YouTube, this is part three to the video series that I promised you on how to etch a circuit board for electronics using just a regular lemon, table salt, and hydrogen peroxide. Uh, as you noticed in the previous uh, couple videos, I showed a circuit board front and back. Uh, the first one was the front, second is the back. And this is the circuit board cut down to uh, considerably less size. Obviously I'm just doing a little test on one of the pieces. Uh, I didn't really sand it down or anything or do anything special to it. Just cleaned up the front enough to where I could use a regular Sharpie. Uh, that's just a regular marker. Uh, it's not going to give the best results obviously like uh, if you were to do the whole print and iron method using a laser toner printer um, and then you know etching it after that you're going to get much cleaner lines. It's going to fuse better to the copper rather than the pen that I'm using. It's going to give less than desirable results sometimes. I've noticed that uh, some of the ink itself will come off on this and you know cause a couple of little tiny pittings. Uh, nothing that will affect the circuit if you're doing a larger circuit. Even in some cases a uh, surface mount device uh, here and there it's not going to hurt anything. Um, I have used a couple of different methods to do surface mount devices uh, such as just a regular LED flasher and it worked fine using a regular pen. So anyways uh, this is part three, and I've gone ahead and mixed up lemon juice, the hydrogen peroxide, and salt. Now, the ratios are the same as the vinegar method. I don't know if you're familiar with that. Uh, basically, it's just a 50-50 mix on the vinegar and um, the lemon juice and the table salt. Uh, it's kind of funny, just in some of the videos that I've seen, it's just the taste, you know, just... Put a little bit in there, probably uh, I would say about two tablespoons at the very most uh, should do it. You know, maybe one is going to be sufficient. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and submerge the circuit board now, and I will give you some results here as soon as we're done. Thanks for watching.